Barton Nutrition Movement with Mariah. I'm Mariah, and let's get right into our warm up. If this is your first time, we're happy you're here. If this is your third or fourth time and you're cruising through our videos, I'm so glad that you're coming back and sticking it out. So, what we got first is alternating toe taps. So, what we're going to do here, just have our arms up. We're going to reach to that opposite toe, come back up, and go to that other side. If we can only get to just a little bit above our toes, that's okay. This one's going to be targeting our hamstrings, our back of the leg muscles. You know the drill. Go ahead and knock out five to ten each leg, and we'll move to the next one. Alright, as we're finishing up, I'm going to get us through the next one. We have a side lunge with an overhead lean. So what we're going to do is we're just going to step out to the side and lean towards the opposite direction of the foot we place. We're going to come back to center, lean to the other side, switch, and we're just going to knock out five each side. This one is a little bit more challenging as far as having multiple components to this movement. So just take your time, feel it out, opening up our torso, but we're also getting a stretch in our inside leg or our groin area. So keep going through that. I'm going to go through our next one. It's a little different than what we've been doing. But we're just going to challenge our balance a little bit and this is going to build and transfer into our workout and the ones to come. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pick one foot to start off with and just kick it out in front of us. We're just going to try to hold this for 10 seconds. And if that's a little bit too much, just bring your foot down just a little bit. If you have to tap every now and then, that's okay. We're really trying to make it a full 10 seconds, and then we're going to switch. So what this is doing is our challenging our balance, but it's also firing up our nervous system. So it's going to create better, quicker messages that send, that allow our muscles to move and coordinate our movements as well. Let's do that one more time. If we want to make it a little harder, let's put our hands on our hips. Try to shoot for that 10 seconds. Try to grab the floor with your foot. Go ahead and switch. Oopsie. Gotta keep breathing, get under control. Good, and now, we're going to pick it up a little bit and we're going to cruise right into our workout. So what we got is in and outs with our feet. So we're just going to start a little like this, in, out, in, out, and it's just quick, light tap. So we're just going to do that quick, fast, light. So go ahead. Try to do 10 to 20. Try to make them as quick as we can. Once we do that, we can do something that's similar. We're going to go front to back with our feet, feet together and just move front to back. And then if we want to, we can combine those to in, out, front, back, in, out, front, back. If that's too much, that's okay. Figure it out, work through those. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Coming back from our warm up, we're gonna get right into our workout. If this is your first time, follow along. We're gonna go through four series of exercises. We're gonna do those three times through. Each of where we're moving at 20 seconds, where we're pushing ourselves, challenging ourselves, and then we're resting for 25 seconds. And we're gonna do that for all four exercises. Again, three sets each. So, Follow along with me. I'm going to take you for our first one and then we're going to get going. So, get 
Get in that headspace, stay focused, stay with me. And here we go. So our first one's gonna be our walking with overhead punch. So what that's gonna look like is probably what you can imagine. We're walking and we're punching the sky. And try to do opposite arm, opposite leg. As you can see, when my left leg comes up, my right hand goes up, vice versa. All right, figured out, get in your space, have some water handy, and we are gonna get going. So, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Get those arms up, get those knees up. And we're gonna get going. Let's start this workout off with a lot of energy, a lot of effort. And let's carry it all the way to the end. We got five seconds left of this one. And relax. Way to go guys, we got two more rounds of that. And then we'll go through our next ones. Make sure we're breathing in between sets. We have some water handy. We got nine seconds to be exact. And we're gonna get right back to punching the sky and two and one. Punch the sky, punch a plate. Punch someone's face, whatever you gotta imagine. Make sure we're getting those knees up and we're keeping our core strong. We got three, two, and one. Keep breathing. We got 16 seconds. We got one more set of these, so stay with me. We'll move to the next one. This is a really good one because we're challenging our lower body and upper body to coordinate into one movement. And speaking of that one movement, we're on. We got 10 seconds. Keep that energy up. Five, four, and relax. All right, we got our next one, alternating lunge. Take a quick glance, what we're gonna be doing. Step forward, come back to center, switch legs. Now you see my knee is not touching the ground and it's not all the way up here. I want it just right above, okay? We got three seconds and we're going. All right, and go. It might be a little challenging at first, but after this first set, you should be feeling a little more comfortable with that movement. We got three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest. If that's too much for you right now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna lunge, bring that foot up, switch legs, Lunge, feet together. Otherwise, keep up with me. We got five seconds and we're up again. Ready? And go. If you want to make it a little more challenging, go ahead and put your arms on your waist, kind of like I'm doing. We got five. and relax. We have one more set of these. Stay breathing, stay warm. What we're doing right now is called a HIIT workout, high intensity interval training. That's what that stands for. And this can be really good, especially if we have type two diabetes, we're on in four, stay with me. Type two diabetes, we're battling some overweight, or just some heart issues. This is gonna allow us to get our heart rates up in a short amount of time so that our body has to do more work afterwards to recover. We're in relaxing. All right, watch me. We got alternating single arm presses. So grab some light dumbbells. What we're gonna do here is just Switching. 
Be creative. If you don't have dumbbells, get some soup cans. Be creative with it. We're on in three, two, and one. So like I was saying before, this exercise is allowing us to recover more after our workout, which is going to increase our metabolism, increase the amount of calories we burn. We got four. Relax. And what it's also going to do is help regulate our blood sugar. So not only is it going to lower our blood sugar, but it's going to help regulate it. So it's not spiking up, going down. It's going to be more at this steady level. We got eight seconds. Whew. We got three, two. Grab those dumbbells. Grab those soup cans. Get those arms up to the sky. Great, we got eight seconds. Gonna feel this in your biceps, your shoulders, your back. Relax, all right, we got one more set of those and we'll only have one more to go. So, if you're thinking about quitting, don't. Keep breathing, grab water, but whatever you do, don't quit. What's really important about this workout is that we stay moving in our work time of 20 seconds, okay? All right, so we got three seconds, and go. Even if we slow down just a little bit, just try to keep moving, breathing through that 20 seconds. And we already got 10. Work through that burn. And three, two, and relax. All right, so our last one, we're gonna hit our core hard. We got some mason twists. So, we're gonna have our feet up, and we're gonna go tap side to side. We're gonna do that for the full time. Can't keep our feet up, keep them down. And just try to initiate that twisting movement. All right, we're on, and go. I'm gonna keep my feet up. If you can't, that's okay. Just try to get as many taps in as you can. We already got five seconds to go. And relax. Whew. Stay down here, grab some water. I'm gonna use my Bart Nutrition water bottle. If you're looking to get one of those, it'll come with your next order from anything you order on Bart Nutrition. We got five seconds and we're up again. All right, ready and go. Get those taps in. Try to move at those hips side to side. Keep that core tight. Get as many taps as you possibly can. We got five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, good job everyone. We got one set. If your abs are burning, you're doing something good. If you're not, I guess we'll just have to make it harder for next time. All right, we got six seconds. Get ready, finish strong, and go. Don't quit now, this is our last one. If you're thinking about it, we only got 10 seconds left. Anyone can do something for 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Get up slowly, move around. Just try to stay standing, stay upright, get some air in your lungs. Cool down, grab some water. You did it, you finished. This is gonna translate into the rest of our day. And it's gonna translate into our next workout. We we'll keep getting better, keep getting stronger. We're doing good things for our body. So I'll see you next time. Bart Nutrition, Movement with Mariah.